obviously this is most concerning when it affects human health potentially. Humans who eat fish are vulnerable to methylmercury and fish consumption is the major exposure uh, of humans to methylmercury. It is estimated that mercury accumulation has made it unsafe to eat fish in more than 760,000 miles of American rivers and more than 13 million acres of American lakes. More than 40 states have fish advisories uh, because of unsafe levels of mercury in fish. Very often these fish advisories warn people to avoid eating uh, fish more than say, you know, once a week, once a month, depending on the situation, and warn those who are at a higher risk, such as pregnant women and children, to avoid eating fish at all. Sometimes this applies to all fish found in a body of water, and sometimes only to certain species of fish. In the year 2004, the EPA estimated that one-sixth of pregnant women in the United States had mercury levels high enough in their blood to threaten the nervous system development of their fetuses. At about the same time, early 2004, the EPA and Food and Drug Administrations were warning pregnant women to avoid eating certain types of fish because of mercury contamination. Methylmercury in a mother's diet can pass to the fetus through the placenta and to an infant through breast milk. The effects of high mercury levels in children include language deficits, attention deficits, motor deficits, and autism. In adults, mercury levels are linked to Alzheimer-like memory loss, muscle deficits, autoimmune diseases, decreased fertility, and birth defects.